Hello, welcome. Today we're going to talk about the attendance, register, and report template. This is a template which can be used as an attendance register tool. It can be used to create class attendance reports, also student attendance reports. It can be used in schools and other educational institutions where you need to print attendance reports for the class um, or for the school or you want to print attendance reports for each student and then hand it over to them. It can also be used at workplaces where you want to track the attendance of employees and report on it. Some of the key features of this template are that it can track attendance for up to 50 students at a time. It has a customizable academic window where you can choose um, your own academic year for your institution. You have a choice that you can select which days are considered to be weekends in your school, whether it's only Sundays or both Saturdays and Sundays. You can also enter your school holidays, up to 20 of them, which will be used in the template to automatically exclude them from being considered as a working day. So it saves you time and it makes it easier to calculate your working days. The template gives you easy to print, um, fully automated, class and student attendance reports. There are many friendly features all through the template for easy data entry, um, which we'll take a look into in a few minutes. The template has several data validations where it can identify any errors in the data that you have entered um, so that you can fix it and have an accurate attendance report. The template can be downloaded from inzara.blogspot.com I'm going to go quickly to the blog and then we'll come back and continue this presentation. So this is the blog post about the school attendance register and report template. You can see a link here to download along with the other templates that I've created. This blog post has more information about the template and screenshots. You can download this template for free via this link here in this blog post and also this Towards the end of this blog post, you'll see a user guide, which is the presentation that I'm walking through right now. So you can download that in a PDF format from here. So now I'm gonna go back um, to my presentation. We'll come back and download the template and do a quick demo as well. What does this template have? It has four worksheets, settings, attendance register, class attendance report, and student attendance report. So how should one use the template? Step number one, enter the information in the settings worksheet. Step number two, enter information in the attendance register on a daily basis, just like you would um, take attendance or roll call right now in your classes. You will enter this information in the attendance register sheet. Then whenever you need to print your reports, you can go and view and print your class attendance reports or an the student attendance reports. When you want to print a student attendance report, you would have to choose a specific student name in order to print the student's attendance report. Definitely pay attention to deleting the existing data before you want to start fresh. Now, step number one is to enter the information in the settings worksheet. This is a screenshot from the settings worksheet. You can see here, there's a lot of information about the school. Uh, there's information about the class. And over here is some information that's very, very critical to the template. So definitely pay very close attention to this. Uh, once you enter information and once you've gone to step two and started entering information around the um, attendance register entries, then definitely don't come back here and change some of these values because that could um, cause some errors in your data. So definitely um, enter your information here first before you go to step number two. So you can enter your begin date and the end date for your academic year, the weekends or holidays, and here's where you would choose whether you want only Sundays to be your weekends or you want both Saturdays and Sundays to be your weekends. You would also enter the minimum required attendance rate and that will be used in the template and I'll show you how. You also have the option of entering your holidays. Here I have a couple of holidays entered here in the snapshot. You can see uh, once I enter these um, holidays, 
automatically the template will not consider these days as working day so that helps in the calculation and that's taken care of automatically there are 20 holidays that you can enter and here i've already entered two and that's why here the message says there are still 18 more that i can enter once you finish entering this information here we'll go to step two and step two is the attendance register worksheet and this is a quick screenshot of the attendance register worksheet you would enter your student roll number here and then your student name here and then you would go into a specific date for which you want to enter your attendance entries and you would be able to pick either present or absent for each student on the day and here you, you see if, you know many students are present and some of them are absent on 24th april and then the information around for each student how many days have they been absent until now student 7 has been absent for 50 days so far whereas student 5 has been out for only 29 days so just a quick information about um, which students need more attention and here on the top this has information around the number of students present on this specific day and number absent the other thing you would notice is that there's a green colored um, date here and this indicates that this is today's date um, so this was this screenshot was taken on 27th April, and that's why 27th April is highlighted. Please make sure that the student names are unique. Now, step number three and is very easy because everything is already set up for you. I think all you have to do is to go and print. Here's a screenshot of how your um, attendance report would look like. Let me walk you through the different sections in this class attendance report. Right at the top, you have the school information, school name, school slogan, and the address. And then you have the class information. And then you have a quick summary of your class performance. So number of students, number of working dates, average attendance rate, and how many students are not meeting the attendance requirements. And the attendance requirement minimum is 72%. And so in this case, 11 students have not met that. Then you have information around the class attendance rate. So the number of working days and the average attendance rate for each month and also overall for the class. And then below that you have student attendance rate, which is the attendance rate on a monthly and an overall level for each student. So you see that some students are highlighted in red here. They are the students who have not met the attendance requirements of 72%. At the bottom, you have placeholders for signatures from principal and the class teacher, and then dated. The student attendance report works in a very similar way. Now what we are looking at here is a student attendance report. So at the top, school information, and then you have your student information, and then you have your class information, and then a quick summary of the students attendance performance so you have total number of working days 178 this student was absent for 40 days and that's an attendance rate of 77 percent and is this student meeting the attendance requirement of 72 percent yes so you see a pass sign here and you would also be able to see the monthly attendance performance for the student and then the overall here You'd see the number of days present and absent and the attendance rate. Below that, you have your daily attendance for the student. You would notice a few things here. So let me highlight it quickly. The P stands for present, A stands for absent, W stands for whether it's a weekend, H stands for the holiday. And if you see a zero, that means that the data has not been entered yet by the teacher in the attendance register. So this gives a quick overview of how the student's attendance has been throughout the course of this academic year. And this can be printed easily and given to the student as a record. At the bottom, you have your placeholders for signatures from principal and the class teacher. So this worksheet is almost fully automated, except you have to choose a specific student so that this template will prepare your specific student's attendance report. There are some other friendly features built into this template so you can navigate easily from one worksheet to another using the hyperlinks at the top and then you can 
you can also see whether your data has any errors in your message boards that you have in your report. If there is no error, it'll say no errors in the data, please use the report. If you do have some errors, then the message board will say, please go to the settings sheet and fix the errors, otherwise the report will be incorrect. So definitely pay close attention to the message board um, before you print your reports. Then you have some tips um, along all your data entry fields, which will tell you what kind of error it is so that you can fix it. For example, if you don't enter your begin date, there will be a message which says, please enter the begin date. If you don't enter the data in the right format, then you, have, you would have your messages that will tell you that something is wrong so you can correct it. Now let's take a quick look at the template. So when you download the template, this is what it'll look like. Enter information in this settings worksheet in the cells that are shaded in light blue. So for example, school information, I'm gonna go and enter. So now we have entered the name, address, and slogan. The next thing is which class you are. Let's say you are doing the third standard A section, and then your teacher's name would be say Dr. Teacher. So then you have 2013 to 2014, and then and then the begin date would be let's say I want to begin from April 22nd, 2013, and I want it to go all the way to March 1, 2014. And I've chosen Saturdays and Sundays to be holidays. I can also choose Sundays only as weekends, but I'm, I'm choosing Saturdays and Sundays both to be weekends. Minimum attendance required rate, let's say I want to do 70% minimum required date. I would enter information around holidays. So let's say I want to enter Children's Day, November 14th, 2013. Let's say I want to enter some other holiday on April 24th, 2013. Go to the next step. Let's go to attendance register. We would enter information around students. You can enter anything you want. Student name one. I could say student two. And then student 50, for example. So these gray colored cells are automatically calculated for you. So here, the calendar year or academic year begins from 22nd, but you'll see here that 20, uh, you've chosen that Saturdays and Sundays to be, um, so I'm gonna choose Sundays only to be um, a weekend. So now you can see here that 27th April, which is today, is highlighted for me in green. So let's say I'm gonna enter Okay, so now we have entered information for the last four days and today is 27th April and that's why it's highlighted in green. And now let's go ahead and enter the information. So let's say all three students were present today. You will just enter P, P and P. And now we have entered the information in the attendance register. Now we can go and take a look at the class report first. So you can see here first on the top, message board, no errors in the data, use the report. So that's a good sign. So we'll look at the class attendance report. Three students, five working days. Overall average attendance rate is 73%. There's one student who's not meeting attendance requirement. And so let's take a look at the class attendance rate here. There are five, there have been five working days so far and the rate is 73%. Here, the student attendance rates, you can see that the student name one and student two have 80% attendance rate, and so they are okay. But student 50 here has only 60% attendance rate, and that's why this record is highlighted in red, because this student is not meeting the attendance requirements. And at the bottom, you have your signatures. So all you have to do when you come to this sheet is go hit file and then print and you will see the print screen here. And you can hit print and then you can print this document. You can also create it into a PDF and distribute it as well.
Now, let's go back to the, now we have seen the class attendance report. Let's see the student attendance report by going, clicking here. So this takes me to the student attendance report. Again, no errors in the data, so we are free to use the report. So let's look at um, what the student's report, I'm ready to use the report. So what, one thing you have to definitely do in the student attendance report is you have to choose a student. So you, you can use the drop down here. You can see that there are three students available and you would choose, let's say, the first student. This student has passed in terms of attendance requirements and that's because he has scored 80%, whereas the minimum attendance required was 70%. So when you scroll down further below, you can see daily attendance information for this specific student. And for example, when I choose student three, and you can see clearly that this has been updated now, and you can see that the student is failing the minimum attendance requirement. So you can go hit file, print, and then print this student attendance report and um, distribute it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions about this template, please reach me at inzara.blogspot.com. I look forward to your feedback. Thank you.